don't mess with America. It has been 40 years since Jimmy Carter lost his bid for a second term, but while his political career effectively ended, his work as a humanitarian continues to this day and much more. My guest tonight is the author of the new book, His Very Best, Jimmy Carter, A Life. He's also an MSNBC analyst. Jonathan Alter, up late with me on The Final Five. Uh, Jonathan, I, I think the first question really here is when you look at Jimmy Carter, four years in office, what was the fascination about him and why did you decide to, to write uh, a very exhaustive review of his life? Um, well, uh, you know, what I discovered is that Jimmy Carter has been sort of ignored by history and he was president of the United States at a pivotal time. He also had an almost novelistic life uh, over, he's 96 now and it's, it's a great American epic uh and i and so i got fascinated by uh the fact that this sort of shorthand you know bad president great former president mm -hmm. was just completely at odds with the actual historical record and so i set about trying to kind of dig in on that and and to write uh, what is really the first biography of Jimmy Carter. So, so you called him a, a couple of things. On, on Twitter, you referred to him as the badly underrated 39th president, uh, mm -hmm. a significant, not a great leader, but a significant one. And you look at him from different ways. There is one generation out there that looks at him as, again, the 39th president who was there before the rise of Reaganism. You have another generation, uh, a lot of people who may be voting for the first or second time for the presidency who know him in that role as a humanitarian. And, and I, I think I think for people who don't know the full story about Jimmy Carter, wh what would be one of the most significant things that you picked up in all of these interviews that you learned about Jimmy Carter that maybe the public at large did not know? Well, you know, I, I interviewed him more than a dozen times. 250 people know him. Uh, tremendous amount of time at the Carter Library to try to do as close as I could get to a definitive account. And I think that the impression of him is, you know, this kind of kindly man with the smile and the cardigan sweater. He's a very tough customer, very tough, very driven. When I asked his son, what's the one word you would use to describe him? He said intense. And, uh, you know, in, in these conversations, he was very gracious and hugely cooperative uh, on my book. But I also got the sense of the inner steel that took him from 0% in the polls to the presidency. And in that office, he got a lot more accomplished than people uh, remember. You know, maybe they, they remember the hostages in Iran, you know, bad economy, uh, maybe something about Camp David, where he brought peace to Israel and Egypt. But there was so much more uh, that, that took place and that, you know, that he achieved. And he actually, uh, not just for the, for the environment and on energy, the first renewable energy this country had seen, but also uh, just in, in um, setting an ethical standard, both here and through his human rights policy abroad. So he essentially globalized the civil rights movement. He uh, took the federal government from tokenism to true diversity, appointing you know, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, among many other right. women and African-Americans. And then the legislative record is kind of mind blowing. He got more legislation through than any president since World War II, except LBJ. Before I let you go, I have to ask this question because uh, we, we mentioned 40 years ago since, since, he, was, uh, since he lost his bid for a second term, uh, 10 years ago, this week, the current occupant of the, uh, of the White House was tweeting about uh, what was coming on tap for The Apprentice on NBC this week. Uh, and the time changes, and, and, and a lot happens in a matter of 10, 40 years. Uh, yeah. what, is your, what is the president's take on the current state of Washington right now? Well, he's very, un, he's very unhappy about what he, what he sees. And, you know, he goes around the world supervising elections and, in over 100 countries. And here we have, uh, you know, a president who... It won't even commit to a peaceful transfer of power, which is what Jimmy Carter's been all about. Um, so he's very, very concerned about what's going on right now. And also, you know, he is the un-Trump uh, in so many different ways in terms of uh, standing for honesty, integrity, accountability, uh, even if uh, he made a number of, of mistakes and had these shortcomings. It was an amazing, it has been, extraordinary American life from barefoot boy, you know, with no running water through yeah. the Jim Crow period to uh, 
global humanitarian. The book is called His Very Best, Jimmy Carter, A Life. That's Jonathan Alter. Thank you so much for the time tonight, Jonathan. It's great to talk to you. It's great to be here. Thanks. Final five back after this.